How to care for a betta fish in vase with plant. Nowadays, it is a common practice to arrange a betta fish in a vase with plants instead of a fish tank. The colorful tropical fish species look so stunning in a glass vase, but maintaining a healthy habitat for your betta fish is even more important. With adequate maintenance and attention, you can ensure a healthy habitat for your betta fish. Regarding that, today, we are going to discuss how to create a betta fish vase in simple two ways. As long as you finish this video, you will know how to care for your betta fish. Caring for a betta fish in vase with plant in two easy methods. Method 1, Preparation of Vase for Betta Fish Select a perfect location for the vase when you are going to arrange a betta fish bowl with plants. Picking a suitable location is very important. This is because the health and longevity of your betta fish somewhat depend on the vase location. You should choose a location where, where proper sunlight reaches. The place should be free of noise and heat as well. Excessive heat is responsible for sensational variations in water temperature. A noisy place results in stress and thin decomposition of your betta fish. Make sure the location gets natural light because too much light increases the growth of algae. Choose a vase as your choice. When it comes to creating a betta fish, vase with plants on top, make sure to choose a larger vase. A larger vase allow your fish enough room for swimming, playing, and moving around. It helps to make your fish happy and healthy. Choose a larger glass vase for betta fish that is not less than 2 gallons. Arrange the basic setup for your betta fish. Deciding on the basic setup for creating a betta fish vase with plants is your next task. What to put in the vase? You need a plant gravel, and a tray. Choose a plant that you want to include in your vase. Betta fish in a vase with peace lily looks very beautiful. Besides, it is a tropical plant of the type of the spatifylum that needs poor maintenance to survive. You can also arrange your betta fish vase with bamboo or potos such as this one. The plant grows well and creates healthy environment for your fish. You can also go for Chinese evergreen for betta fish. It looks so stunning. Avoid using toxic plants for betta fish. You better take advice from an expert to know what plants are good to place with your betta fish face. Then, the tray is to prevent your betta fish from jumping out of the base. As you know, betta fish like jumping. <laughs> you also need to make a base for your fish with gravel or rocks so that they can mess up and swim around safely. Make all the arrangements ready. When the questions comes to how to make a better fish plant vase, establishing all the setup perfectly is very important. So, first, you have to make the basement for your better fish. Choose clean and chemical trace free gravels and place them on the bottom of the base. Then, fill the vase with enough water. Avoid using distilled water because it doesn't contain the natural minerals required for your better fish. Get ready. A small water heater to maintain the water temperature. When all the arrangements are ready, it's time to put your fish in the vase. Make sure the vase fish tank can make a healthy environment for your betta fish. You know what? You can also arrange goldfish in a vase with plants following the same instructions. Method 2. Care for your betta fish in the vase. Feed your fish regularly. Make sure to feed your betta fish regularly. You can choose brine shrimp, frozen blood worms, or any proper betta food for feeding your betta fish. Being carnivorous, betta fishes prefer to, li to live. Feeding your betta fish for more than 5 to 6 days a week is recommended. Don't forget that bettas need a small amount of food daily. Avoid overfeeding your fish and make a regular schedule of the same time and amount of food you need to use daily. Change the water of the vase often. In order to ensure a healthy, healthy habitat for your betta fish and plants, changing the water often is highly recommended. Water becomes dirty by the byproducts and waste of the fish. When changing the water, transfer your betta fish to a temporary fish tank. If you own a 2-gallon vase, you need to alter the water once in 7 days. 
In the case of the 5 gallon vase, changing the water twice a week is necessary. Maintain the proper temperature. Betta fish is one kind of sensitive animal that prefers 78 to 82 Fahrenheit temperatures to survive. If the temperature drops to 70 Fahrenheit, it will be harmful to your, to your betta fish. You better keep a small health heater ready for man, man, maintaining the right temperature. Clean the vase. Be, uh, be sure to clean your betta fish vase when changing the water because the vase contains persistent algae over time. Use a clean cloth or paper towel for wiping out the vase. You can cut down dead plants. Keep a closer look at the water conditions to maintain a healthy habitat for your betta fish. Keep a closer eye on the vase. Often, the water gets cloudy even if you change the water daily. This can occur when the vase is under side direct sunlight. If so, be sure to change the location of your vase. Potas plant in aquariums. Five benefits and growing tips. Potas in a, is an easy to grow house plant which can thrive in a wide range of conditions. Potas plants are also good air purifiers because they can remove harmful chemicals from in their air. Potus plants can be grown in both soil and water. For this reason, many aquariums decorate their aquariums and terrariums with potus plants. Number one is it removes nitrates. Potus plants are also capable of removing nitrates from the water column. The, different, the difference between potus and aquatic plant is the rate of absorbing the nitrate. Number two, combat algae. Because potus plants are so efficient in removing nitrates and other nutrients from the water, they will greatly reduce the algae growth. Provides cover. Potus plants has a fast growing rate. First, it will grow its roots, its roots and once they are established, will start growing its leaves as well. Looks awesome. There's no doubt about that. Potus plants look stunning, not only in a pot, but also in aquariums. It gives a more natural look to any aquarium. Omnivore fish proof. Because potus grows very strong roots, the fish won't bother eating the roots so the plant can develop very well. It will help removing lots of nitrates and will make your fish tank look awesome. Here are the steps you should follow if you want to grow potas in your aquarium. Take a few cuttings in a potas plant and place the cuttings into the chlorinated water in small container. That's the first step. Second, place the container in an indirect sunlight and let the cuttings develop roots. Third, once the roots are about 4 to 5 inches, you can transfer the plants into your aquarium. Fourth, anchor the plants so only their roots and part of the stem are in the water and don't allow the leaves to be underwater. And then lastly, provide them artificial light so they can further develop their roots and grow more leaves. Thank you for watching guys! Bye!